Well, after what feels like months of negotiations, the Texas Senate and House appear to have finally compromised on a property tax break for Texas homeowners. Good evening. I'm Keith Garvin. Thank you for joining us. I'm Daniela Guzman. Well, the important question tonight is what does that mean for your bottom line? KPRC 2's Bryce Newberry breaks down just how much money you could save each year. Millions of Texans could see the property tax savings as soon as this fall if the plan authored by State Senator Paul Bettencourt crosses the finish line. This is off the charts positive for everybody involved in school taxation in Texas. The proposal uses $18 billion of the state budget surplus, increasing every homestead exemption from forty dollars to $100,000. That exemption will stay with you wherever you go. For as long as you own the home. If approved by lawmakers and the governor, in November, Texas voters would have to approve a constitutional amendment to raise the homestead exemption. The tax cut plan also brings a near 24% reduction to school district maintenance and operation tax rates. Based on estimates from Senator Bettencourt's office, the owner of a $331,000 home could see property tax bill savings of about $1,300 or more than 100 bucks a month. About half of the homeowners are literally, you know, on paycheck to paycheck status. They're budgeted that tight. So for them to get over $100 a month tax free is really an important thing. Lawmakers have been debating a deal for months, reaching an impasse as each chamber had different approaches to solving the same issue. Republicans began to look increasingly ridiculous in that this was a top priority for all Republicans back in January. They agreed that property tax relief should be passed. After two special sessions, the plan now needs to pass in the House and Senate before going to the governor, who tweeted today, I look forward to signing into law the largest property tax cut in Texas history. Bryce Newberry, KPRC 2 News.